First of all, we're going to look at how to express a large number in standard form. Firstly, we have the number 6,329,200. To write a number in standard form, we have a number between 1 and 10 times a power of 10. Now, the number between 1 and 10 comes from the figures in our question. So, for this particular number, our number between 1 and 10 is 6.3. Now, expressing a number in standard form doesn't alter the value in any way, we're just writing it in a different way. So in order to keep the same value, we need to multiply 6.3292 by 1 million. And 1 million can be written as a power of 10. It is 10 to the power of 6. So we have 6.3292 times 10 to the power 6 and this is the number 6,329,200 in standard form. There is a quicker way of writing a number in standard form. Uh, in a whole number the decimal point is at the end. We don't normally put it in. We are placing the decimal point between the 6 and the 3 and if we count the difference in the number of spaces between the decimal point at the end and where we are placing it between the 6 and the 3, we find that it's equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, which is our power of 10. So if we apply the same to a different number, we have the number 29,342,000. Firstly, the number between 1 and 10 comes from the figures in our question, so it's 2.9342 times 10. And to find the power, we are placing our decimal point between the 2 and the 9 here. The decimal point in a whole number is at the end, uh, so the number of places between the 2 is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So it's 10 to the power 7. So the number 29,342,000 is 2.9342 times 10 to the power 7. It's also possible to write a small number in standard form. So if we have the number 0 0.00031. Again, the number between 1 and 10 comes from the figures in our question. So we have 3.1 times. Now again, we have to keep the value equal to 0 0.00031. So we need to multiply 3.1 by 1 over 10,000. Now 1 over 10,000 is the same as 1 over 10 to the power 4. And 1 over 10 to the power 4 is the same as 10 to the power minus 4. So the number 0 0.00031 written in standard form is 3.1 times 10 to the minus 4. Now again, there is a connection between where the decimal point is in the original number and where we are placing it. The number of moves between the two and the power of 10. The decimal point is here. We are placing it between the 3 and the 1 which is a difference of 1, 2, 3, 4 spaces, and our power of 10 is minus 4. When we're putting a small number into standard form, the power is always negative. So if we do another small number, 0 0.0003522, the number between 1 and 10 would be 3.52. We're placing the decimal point here between the 3 and the 5, and the difference between where it is originally and where we are placing it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So it's minus 5, the power of 10. So in standard form, 0 0.0000352 is 3.52 times 10 to the power minus 5.